What's going on, everybody? We're back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun with another version of Express Court. Yes, you're probably wondering, Bourbon Judge Express Court on a Thursday? Yes, I'm actually, oddly enough, I'm actually in Kentucky, and rather than not putting out any content for the week, I was like, you know, let me at least do a quick Express Court before I jump on this plane. So, here we are. All right, we're going to dive into uh, the Prideful Goat. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so what do we know about the Prideful Goat? So, I know when this first came out, I had a lot of friends in Texas. They have bottles, and they're like, Judge, it's great whiskey. You have to try it. So I'm looking all around New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, everywhere in my tri-state area. Can't find it anywhere. Finally, I go to Florida, and it's all over Florida. Exception, the only issue is, is that it's unfortunately it's priced a little bit higher. I think a lot of times liquor store owners see that age 15 years, and they're like, ooh, let me just mark this bad boy up. So unfortunately, that's what happened. But fast forward, one of my patrons, oddly enough, who also lives in Florida, Nate Hicks. Nate was like, hey, Judge, if you want to review the Prideful Goat, I'll send you a sample because he had a bottle. He lives in Florida. So, uh, Nate, much appreciation, my man. Thank you so much for, um, for sending me the sample. All right. So what do we know about the Prideful Goat as a whole? So a couple of things. Number one, it is sourced whiskey. Uh, Chris Hart started the company. A lot of people in the whiskey world, we all know who Chris Hart is. But uh, Chris Hart started the company. He wanted to have his own brand. Hey, shout out to him just for being able to, uh, to make this to come to fruition. So he started this brand called the Prideful Goat. It is sourced whiskey and it is Kentucky straight bourbon. So uh, uh, purely cast strength. We don't know which distillery, though, that Chris sourced this whiskey from. It has to be from one of the three major distilleries that actually sources whiskey, which is either Beam, Heaven Hill, or Barton. Most people are saying it's either Heaven Hill or Beam. We shall see. I don't know. Um, from a mash bill standpoint, we got 78.5% corn, 13% rye, and 8.5% malted barley. And this one, my version, is coming in at 114 Point two proofs. So we got a little bit of heat. All right. And I'll pour this a little bit just so it can kind of open up. Now, MSRP. Technically, this is supposed to be anywhere from like $100 to $150. It's supposed to be MSRP. However, again, like I said earlier, because people see that eight fifteen 15 years, so liquor stores, they just mark it up. And I saw it for like $200 in Florida. It was it was a lot. So we'll see. We'll see how, how good this bad boy is. All right, Chris. Let's see how potentially good or great your whiskey is. <laughs> All right, so age 15 years, definitely Kentucky straight bourbon. Ooh, the nose is nice. All right. Wow. Ooh, this is a nice nose. Uh-oh. So I'm getting a couple things on the nose. I'm getting obviously a ton of oak because, you know, it's age 15 years. But I'm also getting a little bit of a, like a mixture of like, almost like a combination of like peanuts some strawberries, even like some grapes and raspberry, kind of like a fruity, fruity, nut forward and oak forward kind of a bourbon. Mm, very nice. Very nice, actually. Nice nose. Nose doesn't like, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. It doesn't wow me, but it is actually a really nice nose as a whole. I will say that. Really nice. All right. Age 15 years, cast strength, 114.2 proof. The Prideful Goat. This is a beautiful bottle, by the way. I will I will give uh, credit to the design. Beautiful bottle. Really nice. All right, my friends. Hey, real quick. Peace, cheers, salute. Three quick, easy favors. If you've tried this, let me know your thoughts. Um, hit the like button. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That was, in the nose, a lot of fruit. I had a lot of, like, um, strawberries, some blackberries, even, like, some grape, but then with a lot of, little bit of peanut mixed in, and the oak, and the palate, and the finish, a lot more peanuts. I mean, a lot more. Very nut forward in the palate, and the finish. And the finish is nice and long. It's still kind of uh, even still in my mouth, kind of moving around a little bit. It's kind of as Cousin Nita would say, it's still dancing on my palate a little bit. It really is. I like this. Hold on, let me get a little bit more. Mmm, not bad. Hey, Nate, cheers to you, my man. Thanks for uh, the sample. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. 
That is your very robust and a solid bourbon, Kentucky bourbon. Very much tons of like oak, a little bit of fruit in there as well. Even a little bit of caramel also. I didn't get a ton of caramel in the nose. Got a lot more fruit and a lot more peanut, but in the palate and the finish, a lot more caramel and a lot more peanut. Very much a traditional straight Kentucky bourbon that just reminds you of a damn good bourbon. So the verdict is in. Bourbon judge, is this a buy, a no buy, or a split decision? Woo! Well, this for me, and I have to, you have to hear me out on this one. This is a buy, but I will say it's a buy at MSRP. Meaning that if you can find it for anywhere from like that 100 to $150 range, then yes, it's a buy. I don't know if I would spend more than $150 on this. I, I don't know if I would go like to two, 220, like I saw for prices in Florida, like even like 225. I wouldn't spend that much on it, but like maybe like a hundred to $150 range. Absolutely, I think this is definitely a buy. It's a 15 year cast ring Kentucky bourbon. And that is phenomenal. And hell, if I'm going to guess which distillery this comes from, my guess is this comes from um, from Jim Beam. That's just my guess. Could be I could be wrong, but that's my guess. But either way, if it's Beam or if it's Heaven Hill, it doesn't matter who it is. That's still damn good and worth every penny of $150. Hey, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, salute. Talk to you guys and gals later. Cheers.